please be seated. Good afternoon. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the Community College of Vermont's 2018 Commencement Ceremony. I am Joyce Judy, President of the Community College of Vermont, and I have the distinct honor of greeting you today to celebrate our 2018 graduates. It is a privilege to be joined by Vermont's Governor Phil Scott, today's keynote speaker Jen Kimmich, Vermont State College's Chancellor Jeb Spaulding, and Vermont State College's Board of Trustee member Mike Pichek. Also joining me on the platform are the Class of 2018 student speaker Trevor Farr, Coordinator of Academic Services Jennifer Stefani, Academic Dean Debbie Stewart, Faculty Service Award recipient Greg Stefanski, and Student Service Award recipients Justin Bordeaux and Aaron Christian. I would also like to acknowledge the state senators and representatives from districts throughout Vermont who are joining us in the audience. Thank you for being here to celebrate our class of 2018. Graduates, as you entered the Fieldhouse this afternoon, you were greeted by members of our faculty, your instructors, who were such an essential part of your CCV experience, joined the faculty line at graduation to recognize your achievements. In the audience to my left are the many advisors and other staff members who have encouraged and guided you through your time at CCV. Will all faculty and staff members please stand and I ask graduates to join me in recognizing them. Earlier today, some of you may have heard the Bell Concert performed from the Norwich University Bell Tower by George Matthew, Jr. We thank him for generally, generously sharing his time today. I would also like to extend special thanks to all the CCV staff, as well as the staff here at Norwich University who organized this event. Today is the culmination of many, many months of hard work, and I appreciate your efforts. Thank you. <clears throat> Some of my favorite days at CCV are those when I have the pleasure of attending classes and interacting with all of you. A few weeks ago, I visited a political science class at the Montpelier Academic Center, and I was reminded of the power of community at CCV. One of our instructors, Bruce Baskin, led 15 students in an impassioned discussion about the U.S. Constitution. The class included high school students, a senior citizen, and everyone in between. Students brought different backgrounds and perspectives to the conversation, but had one important desire in common, and that was to learn and to create a better life for themselves and their families through education. Students were also united by challenge, and Bruce later shared that like a lot of CCV students, many in his class had come through the door full of trepidation. They were unsure of their ability to succeed. When they were tasked with conducting mock Supreme Court trials, some were apprehensive at first. But they rolled up their sleeves and they engaged with their ideas and with each other. As they pushed the boundaries of their comfort zone, they also discovered their potential and many left the class with confidence that they had never felt, and a sense of belonging to a community that they had never imagined. Coming to CCV and staying the course to complete your degree 
takes a tremendous amount of courage. And joining a community full of differing opinions and experiences often requires that you stretch the boundaries of your comfort zone. But the result can be life-changing. I've heard from many of you how much you value the different perspectives that animate your classes. You have said that actively engaging with new ideas and new people fosters empowerment and a greater sense of community. What's more, you have formed a bond with the learning community you helped create at CCV, and it has been instrumental in your success. The class of 2018 represents the same wealth of perspectives that is the hallmark of the Community College of Vermont. You are here from all 13 of our academic centers and from all 14 counties of Vermont. You represent 11 other states across the country and 15 countries of the world. You also span generations. Our youngest graduate today is 17 and our oldest is 73. Some of you are the first in your family to graduate from college. For one of our first generation students, Andrea Amanda Van Deen, CCV has been an important step on her path to a better future. In her early 20s, she was a young mom in a difficult marriage, and her self-confidence had crumbled. But she was inspired by her daughter to create a better life. Today, Amanda is a valued professional at the Rutland Regional Medical Center and has enjoyed success at CCV beyond her expectations. When she was invited to join CCD's chapter of the International Honor Society, Phi Theta Kappa, she expressed that she had never envisioned herself achieving that kind of academic recognition. She told her advisor that she came to CCV to heal. She said, when I started at CCV, my mantra was, Courage does not mean having the strength to go on. It means going on when you don't have the strength. Amanda is not alone in experiencing the transformative power of a CCV education. And now I would like to ask all of you who are the first in your family to earn a college degree to stand and be recognized. came to Vermont and to CCV from other parts of the world, and we take great pride in the fact that our student body represents more than 120 birth countries. One of our, newest, one of our new American graduates, Abizil Balatan, came to the U.S. in 2004. She had already begun college in her home country, the Philippines, but when she came to Vermont, the language barrier made it difficult to find a job let alone continue her education. Eventually, she became employed in the medical field and decided to pursue classes at CCV, where she has excelled. She wrote, the learning experience and the encouragement and support from my advisors and faculty members were absolutely remarkable. My experience at CCV prepared me for my next step in my educational journey, which is to pursue my bachelor's degree in business. I would like to ask all new Americans who are graduating today to stand and be recognized. Some of you are military veterans or are still actively serving your country. One of today's graduates, Sean Connolly, joined the military after being inspired to protect, protect others following the tragic events of 9-11. He served as part of an anti-terrorism response team 
and since retiring from the military, has remained committed to protecting his country by working with Homeland Security. As the first in his family to graduate and earn a college degree, Sean has demonstrated academic excellence. He has been recognized as a leader by staff and peers alike. His advisor noted that he befriended fellow students and that he was a role model in his classes who led through humble, compassionate service. He met his wife in the military, and she today is working on her degree as well at CCV. Those of you who are veterans or active service members, we are proud of what you have accomplished today, and we thank you for your service to this country. We are humbled by your courage, by your integrity, and by your commitment. I would like to ask all of you to stand at this time and be recognized. Graduates, each and every one of you brought a unique perspective to CCV. The degree you earn today represents the hard work you put into your exams and your assignments. It also represents the hard work you put into stepping outside of your comfort zone, supporting one another, and creating a community. The basic ingredients that made your classes so vibrant are the same basic ingredients that will enrich your families, your neighborhoods, and your workplaces. We pause today to recognize your accomplishments and to celebrate this special moment. As you go forward, it is my hope that we will continue to work hard together to build a better future. Congratulations, class of 2018. At this time, I would like to invite the governor of the state of Vermont, Bill Scott, to the podium to greet and congratulate the class of 2018. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for having me here today, and congratulations to the class of 2018. It's a privilege for me to be here with you and your families to celebrate this important milestone. First, I want to note that I cannot, for the life of me, remember who spoke when I graduated, or what any of them said, or what their message was. So I'm hoping that even if you don't remember I was here, or any of us were here, that you remember one thing. Remember how good you're feeling today. Remember the sense of pride that you have right now, today. And remember that the best is still yet to come. So congratulations to you on that. Now I'm sure many of you already know what you want to do. You'll follow that path and it will lead to great things. But to those of you who aren't quite sure what you're going to be doing, here's a little secret. I wasn't always sure either. And there are days when I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. And that's okay. Because my advice to you is this. Don't let the fear of failure hold you back. Don't be afraid of pursuing opportunities when they come along. Try new things. Take some risks. Because if you don't put yourself out there, you're selling yourself short. Of all the graduations I attend, and I go to my share of them over the last number of years, this is the one of the most meaningful to me. Because I know how hard each and every one of you worked to get here. I can see the sense of pride in not only your eyes, but on the faces of your parents, your grandparents, your children, and in some cases, your grandchildren. Juggling work and class, being a parent first and a student second, finding time to fit education into a life already full of responsibility. This is the type of effort, the type of opportunity that makes me so proud of the Community College of Vermont. We know higher education and training isn't nearly as accessible or affordable as it needs to be, but we're working on it. And CCV is Vermont's shining example of what's possible when you make higher education more available. 
expanding that access to college and career training is something my administration is committed to, a future where all Vermonters get an education and the training they need to find a good job, whether that's a PhD, an LNA, or a CDL. All Vermonters deserve a path to meaningful employment. And I also hope that each and every one of you knows that Vermont needs you now more than ever. We lose people from our workforce every single day. The number of working Vermonters is still yet to rebound from the losses we incurred in the Great Recession. Because of that, employers are finding it harder and harder to fill positions across our state. So I would advocate so please reach out to the Vermont Department of Labor in your area and see what businesses are looking to, what they're looking for, who they're looking to hire, because there are so many opportunities waiting for you right here in Vermont, and we're ready to help connect you with them. And finally, as you celebrate the achievement of this day, wherever tomorrow leads you, don't stand on the sidelines. Become involved. Whatever that may mean to you, run for the school board or the city council, volunteer for your community shelter, get involved with a church group, or coach Little League, knowing it won't always be easy, but also knowing you'll do great things because every day in this great state, normal citizens like you and me do extraordinary things. And again, I offer you my best wishes on your graduation. Thank you so much for inviting me again this year, and I look forward to in your future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor Scott. It is truly a pleasure to have you with us today. At CCV, we take great pride in our commitment to community service, encouraging students, faculty, and staff to become involved in the wider community. At commencement, we honor individuals who have given their time and energy in service to others. The Community Service Award is presented each year in recognition of sustained and profound service to our state. This year, it is my distinct privilege to present this award to Martha O'Connor. Martha was born in Putney, Vermont, and graduated from the University of Vermont. She then taught school in Connecticut briefly before marrying and moving back to the Green Mountains. She has lived and worked in Brattleboro ever since. Her lifelong career as an educator and an advocate has had an impact in the Brattleboro area and throughout the state of Vermont. This year, Martha retired after serving on the Vermont State College's Board of Trustees since 1999 and is the chair since 2014. She has served on numerous committees and boards throughout the state, including as chair of the State Lottery Commission, chair of the State Board of Education, and a trustee at the University of Vermont. Martha is a longtime friend and supporter of CCV. Her modest, no-nonsense approach to leadership has been an inspiration to the higher education community, as well as to me personally. Unfortunately, Martha could not be with us today because of a health issue, but I'm asking her longtime friend, Mike Pichek, to accept this award in her honor. Mike. CCV faculty members are dedicated to their communities, embedding service learning opportunities in their classes, and often inspiring a desire for community engagement in their students. This year, we present the Faculty Community Ser Service Award to Greg Stefanski. Greg, will you join me at the podium? Greg serves as the Executive Director of Laraway Youth and Family Services, which provides specialized educational, behavioral, and therapeutic programs for children and families in Lamoille County. Under his leadership and vision, Laraway has been able to expand their influence in Northern Vermont. 
Greg incorporates service learning into every class he teaches at CCB. His students have engaged, engaged in projects such as preparing meals for guests at, the, at a Hyde Park shelter, sponsoring a food drive for the Lamoille County Food Share, and collecting items for the North Country Animal League. He is a volunteer at the Lamoille Restorative Center and is co-founder of Vermont Fatherhood. Congratulations to Greg on receiving this award. Many CCV students are active leaders in their centers and in their communities and dedicate a great deal of their time and effort to encouraging and supporting people around them. This year, we are very pleased to present Student Service Awards to Justin Bordeaux and Aaron Christian. Justin and Aaron, will you join me at the podium? Justin Bordeaux says that as a high school student, he was quiet and shy. Today, you could say the opposite. At CCV, Justin has discovered a love of connecting with others. He served on the Community of Student Service Representatives and has been an integral part of middle school access days, new student orientations, and outreach events. Justin has been a peer academic mentor for Morrisville's Man Up program, which supports young men in Lamoille County as they embark on their college careers. In 2016, he joined me at the State House as a representative of the Man Up program at Governor Shumlin's State of the State Address. Justin is the recipient of the 2018 Leadership Scholarship at CCV and recently traveled to France with the Spring Study Abroad course at CCV. He graduates today with a degree in business and plans to transfer to Northern Vermont University at Johnson. Justin. Erin Christian began her career at CCV Montpelier in 2015. She was apprehensive about starting college, but has demonstrated that she is a leader who is determined to succeed and set a positive example for others. She was active in the community of student representatives, served as a student orientation leader, and tutor in the Learning Center. And she was to the 2018 representative on CCV's Academic Council. In addition, she was a job hunt helper at the Barry City Library, and Aaron received one of CCV's 2017 Leadership Scholarships. She graduates today with a degree in STEM Studies and plans to continue this path at Vermont Technical College. Congratulations, Aaron. Graduates, today you become CCV alumni. In that role, you will always be members of the CCV community. With generous support from past graduates, every year we award alumni scholarships to graduates who plan to continue their education at a four-year college. This year, we are proud to award the alumni scholarship to Paige Madsen, Brooke Mecca and Jessica Vest. Will they please join me on the platform? <laughs> Paige Matson studied at our, at our Rutland Center and earns a degree in liberal studies. She will transfer to Castleton University in the fall where she will be enrolled in the nursing program. Brooke Mecca is from our Winooski Center. She is earning her degree in liberal studies and will transfer to the University of Vermont to study business with a concentration in accounting. Jessica Vest graduates from our Montpelier Center and is earning her degree in early childhood education. 
She will continue at Northern Vermont University at Johnson, where she plans to study psychology. Congratulations to Paige, Brooke, and Jessica. Now, graduates, you will hear from one of your own. The student speaker for the class of 2018 is Trevor Farr from CCV's Middlebury Academic Center. Here to introduce Trevor is Coordinator of Academic Services, Jennifer Stefani. Jennifer? Hello, I'm Jennifer Stefani, Academic Advisor in Middlebury. I met Trevor when he started at CCV in the fall of 2014. He became a regular wisecracking presence in our student computer room, doing homework before or after work, steadily taking two classes a semester. He maintained excellent grades in his coursework while working full time, maintaining his five acre property, taking care of his son Braden in, in partnership with his wife Melissa, and participating in the community of student representatives. He was one of the students consulted in the design of the current CCB strategic plan. Fortunately for me, he often found time to stop by my office to talk about nutrition, a topic of great interest to me and of highest importance to him. During those times, he would usually tell me to stop eating sugar. Thanks for the advice, Trevor. Trevor contacted me when he found out he was nominated to be the graduation speaker. He was excited, honored, and also dumbfounded. He said he thought it was ridiculous that he had been singled out for nomination because he is an ordinary, regular person. Trevor was surprised because he recognizes there are a thousand stories out there and he knows how hard every single student has worked to get to graduation day. I appreciate that humility and I just want to say, thank goodness he is ordinary. There's an art to ordinary living that goes unappreciated most of the time. Being humble, curious, active, intelligent, driven, and friendly are wonderful everyday qualities that I dare say every one of us possesses, and that is something to celebrate. Trevor, like most of us, is fabulously human, and as I think you'll see when he speaks, if he were the standard for ordinary, this would be an extraordinarily decent world. It's my pleasure to introduce your graduation speaker, Trevor Farr. Greetings, class of 2018, and good afternoon. I was a C student at best throughout high school. My efforts were mediocre, and I never had any, any intention to go to college. Then one day, when I was 27 years old, working out in the gym, I had asked a good friend of mine, who happens to author over 20 New York Times best-selling books, if you were to recommend a non-fiction book for me to read, what would it be? And so, I ended up purchasing Into Thin Air just days later at Barnes & Noble. It was an absolute page turn written by John Krakauer. I absorbed it in just two sittings. The story is about an expedition up Mount Everest in 1996 that leads to the deaths of eight people, but John Krakauer lives to tell about it. I suddenly de developed a passion to read, and then I developed other passions expanding my knowledge and widening my horizons. So I decided to apply to CCV. My journey here is no more remarkable or more important than any one of your stories or journeys. I believe we are all a crack hour. Again, I believe we are all a crack hour. If not yet, 
it's in the making. We are all climbing mountains. It may not be as high as Mount Everest, but it's just as surmountable. We have graduates here today with learning disabilities. We have wives and moms raising kids. We have husbands and fathers attending college. More than likely, we have people here in their 60s and 70s. Not one person is more remarkable than the other. Each and every one of you deserves to be where you are today. CCV graduates also harbor an impetuous spontaneity. I thought I understood the meaning of spontaneous until I took general chemistry one and two. Thankfully, my instructor, Dr. Giampa, was able to put up with me long enough to teach me that spontane spontaneity is much more complex than chemistry. A spontaneous reaction is not a controlled experiment in a laboratory, even though my professor would agree that none of my laboratory experiments were ever under my control anyways. A spontaneous reaction is a reaction that gives off free energy to the universe without any outside intervention. Take, for instance, the oxidization of iron, also known as rusting, with a very long chain of carbon molecules that eventually turn into diamonds. I have indulged in spontaneity. At CCV, I overcame all of the stereotypes that people in my past had painted me as. I'd been written off by many. I never excelled at anything growing up, schools, sports, or even friendships. As C.S. Lewis once said, the true enjoyments must be spontaneous and compulsive and look to no remoter end. CCV has been an incredible journey for us all. Not only do we gain credits, courses, degrees, grades, and knowledge, but we all gain confidence, self-respect, and something I like to call our own personal brand. CCV has helped me build my personal brand. Upon finishing my degree, my workplace, Agrimark Incorporated, owners of the Cabot brand World's Best Cheddar, promoted me to a management role in the quality department. What I love most about CCV and this experience and what it's done for me is not just the money, but the ability to say that my job impacts the health of millions of people around the world. Life is full of statistics and probabilities. According to motivational speaker and author Melanie Robbins, the chance that either one of us is born is estimated at one in 400 trillion. That makes each and every one of us special and precious. We are all diamonds. We are spontaneous individuals that had to take a leap of faith. We had to jump outside that box that we call comfort, and we reached for our goals and went after our hopes and our dreams. We faced our fears throughout all the exams, the tests, and the quizzes. Now, now is not the time to stop being spontaneous. We must continue to be the influ influence, the voice, the reason, and the change that we want to see in the world. The great Greek philosopher Socrates was once quoted, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. I would like to thank many of the people who supported me on this journey. I have all my friends and family who supported me. There were co-workers, especially management, who were flexible and very encouraging. I can't forget the many peers of mine and mentors that I listened to because it motivated me. I want to thank all of CCV, the alumni, and all of my professors. I have the utmost gratitude for the Middlebury faculty and staff for their resourcefulness, their support, and their recognition. Most of all, I want to thank my wife and son, Braden, whose resiliency and patience was monumental. I sacrificed so much time spent with them over these last three years, I couldn't have done it without them. Always choose quality over quantity. Congratulations to this year's CCV graduates. It's been an exciting ride. Thank you, and best of luck in your endeavors. Trevor, I'd like to ask you to come back up and um, receive this award for speaking on behalf of the class of 2018. Trevor?
At this time, I am pleased to introduce our keynote speaker, Jen Kimmich. Jen grew up in Barrie and is a graduate of the University of Vermont. Today, she is the CEO and co-founder of the Alchemist Brewery and co-founder and board chair of the Alchemist Foundation, which aims to expand educational and economic opportunity for local youth. She is actively involved with organizations like Main Street Alliance, the Workforce Development Board, and the Vermont Public Interest Group. She is an advocate for working Vermonters, for the environment, and for the well-being of the state. Most impressively, she and her husband are dedicated to modeling these values in their business practices. After I asked Jen to be our speaker, I found out that she has a deeper connection to CCV. She told me that her mother was one of the earliest graduates of CCV and went on to earn her bachelor's and master's degree and have a distinguished career teaching emotionally handicapped youth. Jen, we are so pleased to have you here to address the class of 2018. Good afternoon. It is truly an honor to be here with you today. Congratulations to the more than 500 members of the 2018 Community College of Vermont graduating class. I have, I have to tell you, thank you. I have to tell you, when I was first asked to speak today, I was hesitant. I felt inadequate to address such a fine group of men and women many of whom had to tackle many more obstacles than I did to earn my college diploma. I was very fortunate to have two parents who supported me financially and emotionally through college. I didn't have a child or a full-time job in college. I didn't have to overcome physical or cultural barriers. I haven't been a victim of racism, and I've had family and mentors who've had my back. And even with all that luck, it still wasn't easy to earn my college degree or find professional success in life, because there simply is no easy path to success. Every one of you has overcome challenges in your lives to be here today. The road each of us took to get here, to be here at this moment, shapes us, but it does not define us. You worked hard to get here, and you'll work hard after you move on from here. No matter what you do after today, you have earned a degree that will open doors for you throughout your life. And you will go on to open doors for others so that they too can realize their dreams. I wanna share the story of an exceptional woman who opened a whole lot of doors. This is the story of my mother, Linda Maley. It begins in Jersey City, New Jersey. Linda had always dreamed of going to college. In high school, she was in the college prep program but in her words, family life was not terrific. They lived in poverty, her father struggled with alcohol, and in 1962, he left the family. Her mother had her own mental health issues, so at the age of 15, my mother left school to support her mother, her sister, and herself. Thankfully, she had learned how to type in high school, so she was able to work, but her dream of going to college drifted away. As she says, life happened. By the time Linda was 20, she had nursed her mother, watched her die of cancer, raised her younger sister, been married and divorced, and had two boys, ages three and one. Fast forward to 1972, Linda was 24. She'd met a great guy named Tim, and they moved with those two little boys to Guilford, Vermont. During the first week of January, Linda was in the small home they rented, awaiting the birth of her next child, when a young man came to the door talking about a new college that was being established. He asked Linda if she had ever thought about attending college. She told him that she had always had a dream to go to college, but she only had a GED and she didn't think that was enough. And of course, there was certainly no way she could afford it. This man was John Turner, coordinator of the Brattleboro CCV office. He was doing some serious grassroots, out grassroots outreach. John told my mother that this new college was going to be offering two courses in the Brattleboro area in February, Intro to Psychology and Kundalini Yoga. It was the, seven it was the 70s. <laughs> 
Courses were free, there was no campus, and the teachers were professionals in their field. Linda signed up for Intro to Psych and began her academic journey just three weeks after I was born. She spent the next three years attending CCV classes and had the privilege of being taught and enlightened by people who really cared about her growth and supported her throughout her tenure at CCV. During that time, CCV was formally accepted into the Vermont State Colleges system and began to offer an associate's degree in human services, administrative services, and general studies. This was the degree Linda worked on, and it was competency-based. Linda loved her education at CCV. As she says, I knew from the first moment of the first class I was where I needed to be. From that associate's degree, Linda kept going. CCV connected her to Wyndham College, where she received her BA in Counseling Psychology and Education in 1975. She was awarded her Master of Education in 1981, and she spent the rest of her career in education as a teacher, as a high-risk youth counselor, an assistant high school principal, a school improvement facilitator, and as the juvenile justice education specialist for Florida State University. None of this would have happened without CCV or the dream of Phil Hoff and Peter Smith and all the other radical leaders who believed in access to quality education for all. But most important, it never would have happened without the determination, perseverance, and hard work of Linda Maley. My mother made a rich and rewarding career out of something that before John Turner and CCV knocked on her door was just a dream that had drifted away because life happened. But the opportunity came back and she seized it. Linda was able to start a new chapter to her story and then another and another. Through her hard work and the high quality education that Community College of Vermont provided her, she has been able to impact so many lives around her, including my own. All because my mother made the decision in January of 1972 to open that door. Our journeys are not easy. Every one of us here today had to work hard and start new chapters to get here. But like my mother, when she first enrolled in her first class, and just like my husband John and I, when we started our small business 16 years ago, each and every one of you made the decision to bet on yourselves. And although your paths are all different, you chose to work hard, to keep working, and to open every door. So today, I feel incredibly honored to be here to celebrate your accomplishments with you. Whether you're going straight to a job or continuing your education or both, you all have the tools you need to improve your own lives and to impact the lives of others around you. As we continue our journey through life together, let's always remember to support others so that they too can realize their dreams. Remember that only you can define a successful future for yourself. We don't all want to be CEOs. We don't all need to invent something or manage hedge funds. Or since we're in Vermont, we don't all need to craft cheese or make beer. <laughs> For many of us, success is the ability to have a good job that gives us the ability to support our families. Success can be defined by finding our place and finding happiness in this world. Remember that we can't change the world alone. We make the world a better place by opening doors and having a positive impact on the people around us, just like Linda. All of you are already changing the future. Most of you don't know how yet, just like my mother didn't know that her choices were going to help me. But she opened the door when someone knocked, and that's what put me at this podium today. I proudly recognize the grit and determination of every graduate here today you have all opened the door to a life of learning, personal success, and impact for others. Now, for all of the single and working parents out there, let's put our hands together. For, for all of our veterans, everyone who has survived assault, for everyone who has been victim to prejudice or hate,
for everyone who has struggled with addiction and for everyone, everyone who has had to look at a bill pile that's bigger than their bank balance. Everyone who ever felt like giving up but didn't, CCV graduates, I congratulate you. I wish you success on your path. Knock on doors and open them. Always start new chapters, and please enjoy the journey. Congratulations. Thank you, Jen. 2018 marks the third year of the CCV chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, an international honor society for community college students who demonstrate academic integrity and excellence. You likely noticed when these students entered the field house that they were wearing yellow stoles, which symbolized their membership in Phi Theta Kappa. Will all the graduating members of Phi Theta Kappa stand so we can recognize you? It is now time to turn our attention to the awarding of degrees. I congratulate each and every one of you on the recognition you earned today, as do many of the others who have helped you along the way to this very special moment. I'd like to ask family, friends, and supporters of our graduates to rise and then ask graduates to please join me in thanking them. Keep on. CCV has a long-standing tradition that you graduates will share in today. As you leave the platform after receiving your diplomas, CCV staff members will present you with a red carnation. This flower is a symbol of the many people in your lives who have helped you reach this day. And now, Academic Dean Debbie Stewart will present the class of 2018. Debbie? President Judy, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduating class of 2018, all of whom have met the requirements for the Associate and Associate in Applied Science degree. By the authority vested in the Community College of Vermont, by the Board of Trustees of the Vermont State Colleges, I confer upon you the class of 2018, the associate degree. I'd like to ask the graduates from Bennington to please stand and come to this end of the stage. And I'd like to ask all other graduates from other centers to stay seated and they'll be invited to come forward by the ushers who are working in the, in the audience. So Bennington, will you please rise and come um, to that end of the stage, thank you. Stephanie Bryan. Zacharias Clay. Siobhan Crozier.
Laura Davis. Molly Frazier. Morgan Hosley. Jessica Leonard. Terrence Marr. David Malinowski. Shannon Morton. Emily Nesbitt. Ashley Raleigh. Aaron Ruth. Maureen Kelly Stadnick. Graduates from Brattleboro. Rachel Adams. Tatiana Bowman. Shailen Burke. Penny Burkholder. Taylor Kasia. Athena Crosby. Matthew Delgado. Musumakan Diallo. Andrea Given Van Leeuwen. Ashley Kane. Shanika Nichols. Colin Nolet. Demir Radev. Elena Spear. Angeline Trenholm. Graduates from Middlebury. Grace Bart. Marcy DeGray. Tanya DeRocher. Trevor Farr. Cynthia Growney. Hillary Knight. <laughs> Graduates from Montpelier. Adrian Berry. <laughs> Amy Churchill. <laughs> Mary Beth Descoteaux. Caden Duso. Jade Edwards. Caitlin Fryer. Miranda Green. Abigail Hooper. Michelle Kelleher. <laughs> Megan Maxim. <laughs> Brittany McAllister. <laughs> Dakota Mateer.
Theodore Nichol. Erica Olney. Michaela Pearson. Tilly Quatron. Mariah Roye. Aaron Christian. P. Michael Ruel. <laughs> Megan Sargent. <laughs> Courtney Sheehan. <laughs> Kevin Thayer. <laughs> Joseph Petford. Brandy Tracy. <laughs> Jessica Vest. <laughs> Kimberly Watson. <laughs> Talon Wendell. <laughs> Benjamin Wilkins. Nicholas Wilson. <laughs> Chloe Wright. <laughs> Graduates from Morrisville. <laughs> Chelsea Bishop. <laughs> Justin Bordeaux. <laughs> Nikisha Brooks. Tyler Bajak. <laughs> Emily Gagner. <laughs> Stacy Hubble. Hiata <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> Heather McFarland. Mariah Mitchell. Casey Percy. Graduates from Newport. Heather Bornival. Christy Corey. Ashley Fenoff. <laughs> Renee Fortune. <laughs> Allison Hall. <laughs> Nicholas Helms. <laughs> Zachary Fortune. Samuel Manchester. <laughs> Heidi Massey. <laughs> Kansas Mandala. <laughs> Amber Minnie. <laughs> Amanda Surrey. Jennifer Peters. <laughs> Tiffany Prevost. <laughs> Dakaran Speaks. <laughs> Vanessa Ray White. 
graduates from the Center for Online Learning. Aaron Betters. <laughs> Kathleen Francis. <laughs> Samuel Gravely. <laughs> Millicent Later Cobal. <laughs> Christine Rotano. Graduates from Rutland. Joseph Alford. Chantel Alger. Allison Brooks. Kimberly Sennett. Victoria Draper. Okay. Chad Erickson. Stacy Estes. Rhoda Forrest. Jared Goodrich. Rachel Hauk. Jessica Hurley. Paige Matson. Lydia May. Robert McIntyre. Asa Metcalf. Heike Platt. Vicki Shepard. Catherine Spaulding. Amanda Van Deen. Emily Mary Withington. Graduates from Springfield. Sonia Hodgson. Patricia McCormick. Brianna Wright. Graduates from St. Albans. Hilda Costello. Kimberly Clotignola. Warren R. Hayford. Craig Johnson. Emily LaPlante. Christy Harding Madigan. Jenny Lynn McDonald. Philip McKay. Don Muller. Olivia Pelletier. David Seacard. Max Sloan. Amanda Sorrell. 
Michelle Tiffany. Callie Tepper. Emily Totten. Jessica Vittum. Graduates from St. Johnsbury. Kyla Booten. Kelly Parker. Marie Petro. Brittany Thayer. Graduates from Upper Valley. Sarah Albert. Genevieve Amarante. Dakota Arbuckle. Anna Baker. Heather Bertrand. Amber Delcor. Melissa Frary. Zachary Husband. Callie Josephiak. Yenemy Malia. Quinn Miller. Heath Moses. Timothy Packard. <laughs> Katrina Petschke. <laughs> Roxanne Spray. <laughs> Inga Sw Ida Swingford. Kelsey Tolosa. <laughs> Graduates from Winooski. <clears throat> Chase Armstrong. <laughs> Alexa Beach. <laughs> Cody Benoit. <laughs> Alana Berard. Jean-Luc Berard. Bradley Bissonette. Corlin Bovin. Derek Bouvier. Emily Bryant. Rachel Bushy. Ada Cardi. Allison Castile. Kayla Chabot. Tiana Chini. Elena Clark. <laughs> Damian Curtis. <laughs> Herman Diaz. <laughs> Connor Decker. <laughs> Whitney Ely. Paige Erna. 
Lisa Evans. Heather Ferranti. Sean Fogarty. Caitlin Foy. Allison Fredette. Nicholas Lee Grattan. Noah Harris. Jadela Hilbert. Almina Codridge. Timothy Kearney. Michael Kirapolsky. Brandy LeClaire. Spencer Lengel. Shu Lee. Elizabeth Ling. Cheyenne Longwalker. Samantha Lyons. Scott Martell. Brooke Mecca. Sarah Mecca. Bawana Narula. Jennifer Neff. Avizel Nabutpalitan. Judith Nolan. Christina Paquette. Deborah Feltz. Peter Roy. Allison Saraga. Nina Mary Centuri. Angie Small. Diana Sprayberry. Candace Thompson. Cecilia Vistran. Elizabeth Waitkus. Christina Wallace. Torsum with Chan Crow. Alexis Williams. Lydia Zipper.
Now, graduates, if you would please direct your attention to the front. Trevor, please lead your class in moving your tassels from right to left. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2018. We are so proud of you. send you off with your newly conferred degrees, trusting that you will continue to work together to strengthen every community you belong to. The group on the platform will lead the graduates out. I ask that the audience remain seated until all the graduates have completed the recessional. Thank you, and thank you for being here for this wonderful celebration.